A pleasure now to welcome Lee Kendrick to the live line. Lee is founder of a uh, deal called Credit U-Turn. Uh, Lee, I'm so intrigued. Tell me about Credit U-Turn. So Credit U-Turn, Joel, is a uh, great thing for your listeners uh, that are have ever exhibited any sort of credit uh, problems uh, in the past okay. because we are a very unique credit monitoring service that also provides your listeners with an automated solution that will automatically assist them with disputing any negative information in their credit reports Great. Um, utilizing federal laws. That's brilliant. I mean, that's something I think a lot of people probably don't really monitor their credit regularly. Uh, maybe if you you know go to buy a car, go to buy a house or something, and your, uh, your number's a lot lower, and you thought, hey, we better investigate that, and that's maybe when you find stuff out. But this is kind of an ongoing thing, huh? Sure. So, you know, up until now, most people would either utilize like a credit repair professional, which can cost them 100 to $150 per month or more per person yeah. in their household. So a typical household can easily spend two or $300 per month just in disputing uh, negative information, maybe not get the results they're looking for. And our service does not charge them any credit repair fees. All they do is they subscribe to our credit monitoring service. Absolutely uh, brilliant. Good stuff. So uh, that's kind of your business. The backdrop is uh, you pay attention to debt and credit. Uh, what are you hearing from people? Um, you know, because we're at this crossroads. Uh, we've got a proposal from congressional Republicans about extending uh, coronavirus relief. Uh, but you've got an awful lot of people out there right now that have been, uh, you know, cashing that $600 weekly check. Uh, because of coronavirus, and you know, maybe they were responsible. Maybe they banked some of it in case it didn't extend. They're taking care of their bills and whatnot. Uh, maybe they weren't, but either way, uh, the current incarnation is coming to a close. Uh, what do you tell someone right now that you know that benefit is coming to an end, and maybe they don't have their gig back yet? Well, uh, obviously, moving forward, you just need to continue to be uh, aware of. Um, how anything might be impacting your credit. You need to do whatever you need to do to, to survive and to live. Uh, obviously, uh, we're moving straight on from the CARES Act, and I think the new provision is called the HEALS Act. Yep. So moving straight from caring into healing our nation. And uh, so basically just a, a strong encouragement for employers to get people back to work and also encouraging people to get back to work and easing them back into it. So I think that this new HEALS Act is designed so that uh, – consumers aren't just cut off entirely, yeah. but at the same time, there's definitely um, incentive for people to get back to work. But, but you know, um, you still need to make sure that you're being proactive. If you feel like you're falling behind, reach out and talk to your creditors. Don't just procrastinate and put it off because it'll just uh, end up coming back to haunt you. Yeah, so, I mean, is that the best way to handle it? You know, if I'm in that situation where I don't have the giga back online yet, that benefit is drying up and I'm not sure what's coming, um, if I need cash, I mean, I'm talking about I got rent due, I got to buy some groceries, I got a car payment coming. Is that the best thing to do? Call the people you owe and say, hey, what can we work out? Or is there a better solution? Well, I definitely recommend still being proactive and reaching out to them. Uh, there's a little-known provision of the CARES Act that really hasn't been discussed very much, and that is a provision that lasts all the way up to, uh, until December 31st of this year. Okay. Uh, certain uh, retirement accounts are eligible for you to withdraw up to $100,000 from penalty-free, mm. which is amazing. So like 401Ks and IRAs is what they're as well as other eligible retirement accounts uh, you can uh, you can withdraw from. So if you've been working and you've got a 401k or IRA uh, or other eligible retirement vehicle, you can certainly get a withdrawal from, and that can help you weather those storms. In fact, it could actually help you be your bounce back uh, for the people that maybe weren't happy with working for somebody else that want to start a new business. Yeah, I uh, I got to tell you, my whole life, I mean, from my dad to other people, I've always been told, don't ever raid your 401k, but you say that might be a good option. It really could. Uh, considering the dip in the economy that we experienced, I mean, it's not horrific. Uh, but at the same time, you know, if, if you, you've got to make sure that you're taking care of number one. You've got to take care of you and your family and mm -hmm. make sure that you've got food and shelter and that uh, your utilities are still turned on and, you know, you just definitely don't want to set everything aside. If you've been in that position up until now and you're behind on your rent, rent's coming due. 
And you need to be aware of that because those uh, federal provisions that protected you against foreclosure or eviction, uh, if you were in like any sort of a uh, dwelling that was tied to a government loan, that day's ending. And so you, you've got to get make sure that you're caught up if you haven't already uh, planned for that. You need to. Got it. Lee Kendrick, our guest, he's a debt and credit expert. Uh, I got a feeling I know the answer. Uh, I'm a big advocate of the side hustle. Um, my son, 20 years old, working two jobs. My wife kind of has her fingers dabbling in a few things. I've got something I do on the side. Um, where do you stand on that? What, is that a viable option for most people? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's the key to great credit is just making sure that you've got uh, that extra income. You know, and if you if you have that in place, fantastic. If you don't have that in place, find that. I mean, it's you know, we live in this day and age where we've all got some sort of knowledge. We've got something that you can put out in a report. You've got something where you can help somebody. You've got a service that you can provide. It used to be that, um, you know, if this had happened 50, 60 years ago, or look at like the 1929 to like 1932, you know, the Great Depression, it took years for people to bounce back. Now people can bounce back in weeks. Yeah. Uh, you know, we live in this great day and age, so definitely side hustle is, is where it's all at. I mean, I mean you can blog. I mean, you know, people think I can't make any money doing that, but my son's got buddies that just started doing stuff uh, because they love it, uh, and you get noticed by a couple of people, and all of a sudden you got a decent number of followers. Now there's advertisers, and again, you don't make big money. It might be, you know, a tenth of a penny per thousand or whatever, but as you accrue followers and as you keep delivering content, that number goes up, you get better advertisers, and pretty soon you're cashing some real checks. Without a doubt, without a doubt. You know, and this is, uh, you know, I, I pay attention to a lot of people um, in, in that market. Uh, they're always talking about side hustles. There's a guy, Gary V, that a lot of people don't agree with because he likes to drop some uh, uh, salty language every now and then <laughs> but, uh, or frequently. But, uh, you know, he talks about it all the time. Here, this guy's worth a few hundred million dollars. Yeah. He'll go eBay. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people don't even think about eBay anymore, but it's a viable option, you know. And you've got treasure sitting in your house or other people's houses. you just got to know how to tap into it. And there's, uh, you know, some people will just turn around and go to Target, find a special, and turn around and resell it. There are all kinds of people on Amazon that are doing the same thing. It's uh, it's incredible, really. Uh, people that are just really smart. In uh, you have some enterprise and some hustle and get after it. Uh, so the credit card, um, you know, uh, I know from the industry uh, that a lot of people's credit limits have been trimmed of late. Uh, where do you stand on that? I mean, if I just flat got to make a payment and I got nothing to do it, uh, the credit card. If I start racking up credit card debt, is that wildly irresponsible, or is it just sometimes? That's what uh, that's what circumstance dictates. Well, you know, you're it's just like you were talking about the side hustle. Sometimes you just got to do something. You know, if it makes sense, as long as it's for the right purposes. If you're just going out running up credit card debt just so that you can go uh, make sure that you can eat instead of you putting something on the grill, you know, there's a difference between that and paying a bill that's going to allow you to survive or protecting your credit uh, or maybe you starting that side hustle. Interesting. I tell you, Lee, it's great stuff. I think anytime you talk money, you kind of get the juices going. There's a lot of people that need to hear that info. Good stuff. Thank you very much for the visit. Lee Kendrick.